Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love reading your comments, all right? I really, really do. And as, a, and as much as I want to reply to each and every comment, um... <clears throat> sometimes there's just too many so i pick out the 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 ones that really really i need to really um answer but i love each and every one's comments also thank you so much for supporting me here on youtube and other tarot readers as well thank you so much Right. Pisces, your overall energy for this reading is the devil. You have the death card, the fool card, and then the queen of wands. I love this energy. I really do. You have the nine of cups. You have the Eight of Wands and then the King of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> All right. I usually don't look at the bottom of the deck, but you have two knights at the bottom. All right. Two knights. So these are two people already in your energetic vicinity. You could be dealing one with first is could be a, a water sign, the other one could be an air sign. All right? But take it how it resonates. Also spirit is asking me to uh lay out the signs for you that's in your spread. You have Capricorn, Scorpio, well um water signs, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. Then you have the full card for Aries, the Eight of Wands for Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands for um, uh, Fire Sign, so Aries, Leo, Sag. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So that is Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You have the devil card as your main energy. All right. Don't log off yet. This is you. You're letting go of your fears. I'm getting you have felt a little bit afraid in the last I'm getting in the last 3 months. You've been afraid that you're fearing that whatever happened to you in 2021 just might repeat. You might run into people who have bad intentions towards you. You might meet people who don't have the best you know, intentions, as I said. You're letting go of that fear. You're, un you're, you're understanding that there are more people who want the best for you. Who are whose intentions are good you understand that now not everyone is going to treat you badly and i'm getting your feeling that the next person who's going to come towards you is someone who has really really good intentions towards you pisces you have the death card to the nine of cups all right after a very, very painful transition, a very painful ending of a cycle, your wish finally comes true. 
I'm getting your actually getting everything that you've wished for not just in terms of love but also with money career the life that you want is going to come towards you it's already on its way but this this only came in after you embrace that transition that you really needed to go through You have a full card and then the eight of wands so new start all right this is a new start for you also you could be dealing with someone with zero baggage as well you could be dealing with an aries but this is someone who messages you with a lot of passion a lot of romance this is someone who is very expressive of what they feel and someone who's really really thinking of taking that leap of faith with you they're really thinking all right but while they are thinking they're actually expressing how much they feel for you how they feel for you all the passion that they have for you you could be dealing with someone who is in another part of the world or in another city another country another um, town but because there is travel involved, the Eight of Wands is a travel card, all right? This is someone who is really taking that leap of faith with you. If you jump, I jump. For some reason, I got that. If you jump, I jump. And then you have the Queen of Wands to the King of Pentacles. Again, you might be dealing with an Aries because the Queen of Wands is an Aries card. But more so, this is you being so attractive. So, so attractive. People notice you. People notice your beauty. Especially physically. I'm getting you're very hot. Alright, Pisces? I'm getting you're very hot. Um... You're driven. You're very ambitious. I love it. You're very for you're you're actually very focused on your career right now and your money. And your money is actually on point. Also, whatever you touch right now turns into gold. So that's really nice, isn't it? The King of Pentacles here is someone who has worked to be where they are right now. This is someone wealthy. This is someone established. And this is someone who wants to offer you a very stable and secure form of commitment. They want to commit to you. I just say, I usually just say offer, but for some reason, I just heard it. They want to commit. They want to commit to you, Pisces. What is the overall outcome for this, please? Alright, the overall outcome for this is the Hanged Man, the Seven of Cups, and then the Nine of Swords. Alright. Are you feeling a little bit anxious when all eyes are on you, Pisces? I'm getting you're feeling a little bit anxious because you're all eyes are on you. you get, you're get you getting so much attention by so many choices. You have the Seven of Cups, all right? So many choices. And it makes you feel that you have to wait and see who should you give your love to. There's going to be enlightenment here, don't worry. You will finally won't be confused on who to choose, all right? But more so while you are waiting for that moment i'm getting that you're getting anxious because you don't know who to choose and all eyes are on you you're getting so much attention people are watching you all right people are watching you people are wondering what's your secret why are people why are people so attracted to you 
and it's making you feel a little bit anxious. But what I'm getting here is um, live in the moment. Live in the moment. You're very attractive. We can't do anything about it. You're very attractive. All right? There's just some certain awe in you that people are fascinated about. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm getting it's very natural. Your beauty, your elegance, your class, it's very natural. Your sophistication is very natural, Pisces. Alright, okay, we'll just get the cards that flipped. The advice for you. Give me a few seconds. I want to arrange this. All right. The advice for you, Pisces, is the world card and then the four of pentacles. It's very specific. Spirit's advice for you is to open up to new beginnings. This is a fated change coming towards you. So open up. Don't be afraid. Open up. All right. All right, other messages, please. Okay, you want that. And then... Okay. You have forgiveness and courage. I'm getting you should forgive yourself. You've gone through so much. I know you've gone through so much especially in your past relationships you've given more than you, what you have taken and it's time for you to forgive yourself and then courage have courage have courage all right you have two cards you have honeymoon and then true love oh my god true love this is the romance of a lifetime and then honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so whoever is coming towards you might be traveling to come towards you enjoy the bliss of the holiday holiday time together so i love it i love it so that's all I have for you, Pisces. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.